Well, hello everybody again and welcome back. Um, I'm back on the narrowboat and um, today uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start, um, I've been, been looking at this, this is a, uh, a ply panel and I think over the years around the, the slide down hatch, it's in the winter it takes, it gets a little bit, you know, a little bit of water comes through on and off. And it gets the weather when the boat's going along if you've got the hatch open and it rains and it's a bit of uh, varnished just plywood it's not like the um, pine lined uh, shell of the boat which I love and you know would keep so what I thought rather than just uh, varnish this again it's very worn it's got holes where things have been screwed into it at various times I thought I'd have a crack and um, see if I could put a uh, like what's going to happen first of all I'm going to paint uh, an acrylic eggshell color over this and then let that dry and then put a thin coat of scumble glaze over and I have a tool a graining tool and going to try and do something like on the old narrowboat finishes they used to use you know like a, a scumbled grain down here and finish it that way and then obviously it has a, a varnish to seal it over the top when it's all done but yeah this is that's the bare the bare uh, bit of wood as we've got it now and then obviously the first thing I've got to do I've, I've given it a quick rub down I'm going to give it a wipe down now and then I'll acrylic paint it and um, Obviously it's so difficult to get here, I've, I've got nowhere to put the camera, so I'll, I'll paint it and come back and explain a little bit more um, about what I'm doing anyway. But that's the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the plan and the idea at the moment. Whether it'll come off isn't the question. Well there again, I don't know quite how well you'll see this, the light is, is terrible on this little boat. Um, but I've now um, given this one coat of acrylic eggshell paint and as I say this obviously is the base coat um, the scumble glaze that I'm using is oh, let, me, let me reach the tip whether I'll focus on that it's um, it's oil it's an oil based it's uh, manufactured by polyvine and it's medium oak um, in color it is a colored one and the rec polyvine give you recommendations for what best base coats to use under these coloured scumble glazes um, and they gave me a paint number which was very kind of them but but um, you could only buy acrylic eggshell uh, in that colour in I think it was either two and a half litres or five litres and a ridiculous amount of the paint that I would never ever use so obviously I've had to I bought a one litre tin I found on eBay it's old stock paint it's um, it is acrylic eggshell it's the nearest colour I will put in the um, box you know, the description box below I will put a link to the right colour and you'll see it's it's pretty much, you know, um, near enough, I think. Um, being now, the idea is, hopefully this one coat, I think, is going to be enough. It's covered with not too much about one or two little light and dark patches on it at all. Uh, the idea is now, obviously, we give that at least 24 hours or longer to go off and dry. And then we put our thin uh, coat of scumble glaze on that and then we run our graining tool down and obviously we get a certain amount of breakthrough back to this colour uh, so I'm hoping it's going to look you know okay um, there is some up there well, you'll see that up where my finger is uh, there is some hardwood trim to finish off bits like that I decided as this as this little bit of wood here had to be replaced um, in pine I thought you know it would be quite nice to have a go at graining that and so I'm going to grain that little bit in as well to match this 
block here. There is a bit to do it at the back side there. It's had a new piece of ply to stiffen it all up as well. But it's you've got it's it's really difficult working in these confined conditions. You've got to do one bit, then you know move everything and do that bit. So we'll we'll leave that a little bit and we'll, we'll have a try on this bit to start with. Yeah, so there we go, that's the base coat, the acrylic eggshell on. Well, hello everyone again, and um, we're back, and we've given our uh, acrylic paint time to dry. It's, it's had well over 24 hours, and it's not, not bad coverage. I'm not too bothered, there's one or two, I don't know how well you'll see this, but there's one or two lighter patches, but we're not really too worried about that, to be honest. So we're gonna now, um, I have here, I've got the scumble. Now I've never applied this. Uh, it doesn't give you a lot of guidance on the tin. It says for different uses, apply at different thicknesses and it's best to thin with white spirits. So I've tipped a little bit out and just thinned it um, very, very, you know, hardly had any white spirits at all. And, we'll sort of put it on and, and see how it goes um, so we'll start applying and then um, come back and see what sort of a mess we can make with it so there we go um, we've got it applied and um, I've now got a, a brush and I'm just going to sort of feather it down a little bit with this soft brush I'm not too worried they're going to get the light in the dark because obviously the brush is starting to give us the... I just wanted to get it distributed about as evenly as I could and the brush will start to give us the um, sort of almost the lines of the grain of the wood which we're trying, which is basically what we're trying to replicate Right, so now we will get our, um, this is our, this is also a tool made by Polyvine, you can buy these, you know, they're five or six pounds on eBay, it's called a um, graining rocker tool, and the idea of this, um, you gently sort of pull it down the scumble, sort of gently, very gently rocker, rockering it, so it gives you the wood grain effect so we'll have a whirl anyway and see how we how we come off with this well there we go um, for a first attempt, I don't think that's too bad really. Um, we'll move along and have another go and do a bit. Obviously it's quite difficult to get in here best if I uh, try on the bottom bit and sort of come up to that to meet that. Yeah, there again. Um, you know, for a first attempt, I think it's running a little bit there, but I think there again what we're perhaps meant to do is just with the brush sort of take it back a little bit. Give us that more of that wood effect. Well, there we go. I'm not there again. I'm not sure how well you'll see this. Um, probably that light dangling in the way, but um, I'm really quite pleased with that uh, for a first attempt at graining. Um, obviously, I'm still going to brush it a little bit more, but 
the effect is, is quite is quite you know quite magical really. Um, considering that was a, a rough old you know weather beaten um, bit of ordinary varnished ply, um, and as I say, the effect is quite good there. I think I did put it on too thick in parts. Um, and obviously it's not it's not perfect by by a lot, long way you know um but the thing about this is um if you don't like it you i, I could just paint over it and, and live with the um any color really the acrylic eggshell i could paint over the eggshell and have another go if i but i but i'm quite happy with that i think you know um i might sort of lightly i think my brush almost like the finishing brush could really need to be a, just a, 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 a touch thicker than that um, you know when you brush it down just to get those when you look at wood um, it's got really quite detailed small grain and and you can see actually just moving that about um, it does kind of flatten flatten it out better but so I don't think my, my brush is very fine um, so probably not ideal for that but um well i've just uh, now given the um scumble a good chance to dry it's still quite tacky but I i'm really delighted with the finish i've got um it it's fantastic you know it's better than i expected for a first attempt um you know and i think obviously i think it does it's quite light, I realise in parts, but I, I quite like that. This is a dark boat, and so I, I sort of I, I was sort of quite after a light looking finish to that panel. And I think when it's varnished and got all its edging strips, hardwood edging strips back in, uh, it look it look really good. I'm I'm delighted, as I say. Um, you know, as I say for a first attempt, you never really know how these things are quite going to pan out or um, how things work or. And as I say, the, the scumble didn't give you a lot of instructions, but it's it's really quite basic, you know, when you get down to it. Um, I did thin it, as I say, with white spirits. And um, it is coloured uh, scumble. It's polyvine, and I think the colour is medium oak. I will put that down in the in the description about what, what I've used. Obviously, I have no connection with polyvine. Um, the tool I also used the graining wood tool was also a polyvine um, tool but as I say they can be bought very cheaply and uh, yeah I'd, I'd certainly you know have a go at other I've got other little bits and pieces that um, I would now like to have a go at and um, as I say I'm not sure how you'll see this it's a very very dark area of the boat but hopefully you know um, you can see that if I can do it anybody can have a go at it and it's quite a nice finish for an arrow boat particularly if you've got a wood um, you know, like mine, an older wood, pine interior, which, you know, as I say, I, I don't want to um, paint over. I think it's, it's the pine's in really good condition still in this boat. Um, you know, you can see a little bit of it there. Um, so, yeah, so there we go. That's my first attempt at um, uh, wood, wood graining or scumbling or fork, forks, wood, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. But uh, as I think it was a very popular finish on the traditional um, working narrowboats obviously because um, you know it was cheaper than buying real oak or real real sort of top quality wood and um, so yeah anyway thanks for watching uh, please please do subscribe uh, come back and um, or if you've got any comments if you've had a go at this and um, you know we'd love to hear from you and thanks for watching again and bye for now